Marcus Hayes, Fight Hub TV. You see him, the legend on the left, my man Fernando, the young, the young lion on the right, Emiliano, Emichenko. What's going on, the Vargas dynasty coming out the Royal Nutsack? What's Clark, good, guys? That Clark Kent, you got that Clark Kent Superman look. And, 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 and look, we need a Mexican superhero. That's what we need. That's right? Look, y'all got Black Panther, right? Uh, 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 white boys, they got they got Superman. You know, they might call me Super Super Way or Super Mandilon, but that's, that's definitely not what it is. Yeah. So that's, that's shout out to the Mexicans. Um, they, they know what, what what's that about. But yeah, man, we here. Back in the ring, Emmy, what's mm -hmm. going on, man? Chilling, uh, ready to make this wait. I mean, we had an amazing press conference, uh, and, and it's fight time. You know, Glendale, Arizona, it's just something about the, the air, the Mexican people, and the food after that I just mm, love. That's what I'm so uh, I'm, I'm excited, uh, I'm ready to go, and uh, you know, it's just it's just business at the end of the day. Pops, your youngest, your youngster back in the ring again, man. Uh, ready to make his stamp, uh, seems to be soaring. Uh, what are your conversations like about his ascending the game so far? Well, look, man, like everywhere he's gone, he's going, I've already been there. You know what I mean? So it's like I, I love when, you know, he asks me, Dad, what, what, what would you do here? What would you do there? Because I lived it, and I lived it by myself. They don't have to live it by themselves. They got me to 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 be able to tell them, do this, do, don't do this, do do that, don't do that, you know what I mean? And, um, and so, uh, it's, it's such a blessing for me. It's such a blessing for me, and like, like you know, no, you know, a secret that I didn't have a father. So to me, you know, I'm everything to my sons that I didn't have. I tried my best to be that. And so, it's a blessing for me to be here with my son. Even during the press conference, man, you kind of broke it down, man, like, bro, you know, you, the, you talked about the value of your father to you, man. If you could just touch on that briefly. I know we're supposed yeah, to be talking about the yeah, fight, yeah, yeah, but it's yeah, so yeah. much no, more no, no, stuff no, that's look, important you know, there's, there's, than there's just boxing. Man, this old man is something special. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's just, uh, like you said, it's a blessing. Everywhere I want to get to, he's already been, and he's waiting with the sack lunch, you know? So um, I'm just, I look up to him. Um, and, and, and I definitely know that everything that happened in his career, we take the good, the bad, the ugly, and we put it to, towards my career. So um, I don't think we should blame, you know, my father for, you know, building his, this last name that I have. And, and you know, then, then you got people, oh, you know, he's just writing over this. And at the end of the day, as a father, you should build something great for your kids. And, and this is what my dad built for me. I'm just living out, you know, what, what God has in store for me. And, uh, you know, this is this is just another one off, off my belt. And, and I'm ready to keep on climbing. Um, I'm young, ambitious, and, and we got that Vargas hunger inside of us to where, you know, I, I, I didn't have to look in the fridge and there was nothing there. Everything was taken care of. But at the end of the day, I'm a competitor. I love to win. This isn't about, you know, uh, you know, if I want to make paper, if I want to do this, or I want to get out of the slums, I don't have to worry about that. But the thing that I, I fight for is to have my, to be proud of my name too. The first name that comes uh, uh, prior to that last name, you know, of course I'm, I'm proud to be, you know, uh, a Vargas, but at the end of the day, I want my kids to be proud that, that he's a junior, Emiliano Vargas Jr., you know? So, um, look, man, I'm, I'm here and, and, and I'm a short every time I step in there. You've never seen a boring Vargas fight in your life, and you never will. So, uh, you know, we're just we're just we're just ready to uh, uh, handle business. Touching on it, what's the goals for fight night, Pop? Emmy, what's going on? What we what we looking on doing well, you know, on fight we night? Know the, we know the guy likes to run. He's a runner. Right. And he's so a track star. We'll cut him. He's a track star. You he's know? a runner. He's and a... so you guys got those running shoes on, and so he wants to run sprints and and uh, and all that. So we got to be ready. We we know we know we gotta cut that, cut off right. the ring. Been prepared for that. We've been we've been doing training camp, um, you know, and then training camp is everything we work on, you know, cutting off the ring, right. um, getting them uh, uncomfortable on the ropes, mm -hmm. and um, you know, letting go of our punches because he you knows he's gonna try to get out of the out of the way. And I was I was I was running, I was running. Believe me, I was running. To, you know, like a track star in the ring, and he, was, pops, yeah. and he was, and he was, and he was following me, and mm -hmm. cutting off the ring and doing 
everything perfect. And Mexican style. These fans can see this Mexican style come out. Real, real talk. This, this, this one. So I'm looking excited. to cut the ring off and cut be surgical. Cut the ring off, body shot. Put some more pressure though. You know what I'm saying? Walk forward with head movement. Um, surgical. You know, just yeah, surgical, very surgical. But when I'm gonna get when I get these shots flowing, man, it's, it's gonna be flowing. That's how she will. Yeah. Definitely, man. Uh, fans, make sure that you tune in Friday night <laughs> here in Glendale, Arizona. Uh, Emichenko show rolls on. <laughs> Emichenko. Guys, there we go. let me talk to you. News in boxing the last week, we got Canelo and Munguia. Uh, we had a press conference. Uh, we spent some time with Canelo Alvarez. What do you guys think about Canelo versus Munguia? The fight that's coming up. It's a great fight. I think it's a great fight. I think it's different from from the Mexican people. Munguia has advanced a lot in my in, in, in my eyes. Um, you know, before he wasn't that, you know, to me that technical. But now he's really grown into the uh, the fighter that he is now. And so I think it's going to be a great fight for 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 the boxing fans. I still pick uh, Canelo to win, but but um, I think it's going to be a good fight. And as far as when we talk about Jaime Munguia, uh, you talk about the improvements that Munguia has made. Right. Um, Bernard Hopkins saying that he's earned his way into a fight with Canelo Alvarez. Correct. What challenges do you think that Munguia is going to be able to present to Canelo Alvarez that we haven't seen in a while? Well, look, he, he, um, Munguia knows how to box too. You know what I mean? So, you know, um, um, both of them are boxer punchers. And so... Before, um, you know, um, Munguia would just go forward, 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 forward. But now he's learned how to box, and and I think that that could be something that that could work for him uh, against uh, a, a Canelo. You know what I mean? But um, like I said, I still think that Canelo's going to win, but I think it's going to be an interesting fight. Right, Emiliano. Last week, Leonard Ellerby told me quite frankly that. Jaime Munguia is absolutely tailor-made for Canelo Alvarez. It couldn't get any better. Uh, what do you think that is there for Canelo Alvarez to take advantage of? I think uh, just experience. It's like an enemy. Exper experience plays a huge role. You know, Canelo's seen every style. Canelo's seen, you know, that look before. And, and I think I think it'll be a great fight, but uh, I think he takes out Munguia. Okay, in other news, we talked to Canelo after the press conference. Uh, naturally, the big word that everybody was on their list was Benavidez, Benavidez, Benavidez. Marcos Vegas asked Canelo Alvarez about uh, the fight, and Canelo Alvarez said, I wouldn't fight him unless there's $150 million to $200 million on the table. What do you guys think about that? He deserves to, to, to say that and to receive that. Why? Because he's fought everybody. That's true. Um, at the end of the day, he is the face of boxing. And... You know, Still I, and to me, and to me, I know that he's like, you know, he's just trying to like build it up, build it up. Like, Canelo ain't scared of anybody. He hasn't, he hasn't showed any fear in fighting anyone. Now, I think he's just trying to like, trying to like, you know, throw the comment over here and say, no, well, you know, who has he fought and this, that, just so that way they could think he's scared. And, get, and he's gonna get those 200 million. Guarantee, so he's not stupid. He's a businessman, and at the end of the day, this we're, we're Would here. Would fight for fifty million dollars or two hundred million dollars? So at the end of the day, I he's gonna. Do okay. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate Thank you, bro. Appreciate you. Where you gonna be at? So when they when they get together, Fernando as Emilio Chanco, Emiliano goes on his business, bigger things that fried during his fight week. But as we move along, uh, there's been a lot of comments. Legends of the sport like yourself, uh, Juan Manuel Marquez came out and said that uh, it was it was coward like for Canelo basically to be calling for that much money. That it's an old trick in boxing to price what? yourself out. But the thing is, is we put in our life on the line. The guy's gonna be thirty pounds heavier than him, or twenty pounds heavier, right? And at the end of the day. We have to milk these dudes for as much pity, as much cash as they as as we can. We're putting our life on the line each time. I wish I, I had um, uh, you know, people in this in my in my corner like like uh, like uh, Canelo does, you know, looking out for him. And I think it's just him, really. 
and uh, and and uh, Eddie Reynoso. But you know that's it. That's all he needs. They're very, they're very uh, a great team together, and he's a smart businessman. He's not he's not scared of anybody. But he want, he wants to make it look like he is. That's why he's saying, oh, you know, you know, it's not, it's not a fight that benefits me. This, that, that. What well, what has he done? But guess what? I guarantee you, Canelo's gonna do it, and he's gonna get those two hundred and fifty million. How do you think they match up? Do you think that Canelo has what it takes? I think, to, I think, uh, I think that both of them are. I think that it's a fight to see. Um, Is it time for the fight? Would you say that Fernando, as a legend in the game, with Benavidez being a figurehead at the 168 pound division, a two time champion in his own right, undefeated and calling your name, if you're Canelo Alvarez, do you continue to make him wait? Well, I mean, look, like if he gets his 200 million, then let's go. And I'm sure that that that's what uh, Canelo's doing. Canelo's just trying to, you know, make everybody think that he don't want to. And like, like and, and it's, it's smart. He's a businessman. The more he, it looks like he's scared, which he's not. The more he's gonna make. Oh. The more he looks that he's scared, the more he's gonna make. Because when he fights, everybody, oh yeah, it finally happened. Dun. Everybody's gonna watch it, and everybody's gonna, and, and the one who's walking away with the, the, the fattest check is gonna be Canelo. So you think Canelo is just making the fight marinate? It's yeah, he's marinating. marinating. He's not dumb. He's marinating in it. He's like, yo, you know, let, oh, let the boy. Oh, yeah, I'm scared. All right, so he says, you know, who, who, who is Benavides? Uh, who is he fought? Who is he beat? Da -da -da. And so. You know, he, he wants you. He, he wants you to think he's scared. Like, you know, it doesn't benefit me at all to fight him. Why? Why? Why would I want to need to fight him? What, what, what does he bring to the table? The one, only thing he brings to the, to the table is twenty more pounds, right? He yeah, said he that, said, right? He did Public, say that so, tomorrow. so he's milking it. I guarantee you, it happens, and he's gonna he's gonna milk him for two hundred million like nothing. So we will get the fight. Yeah, we, will, we, we will get the fight. Canelo's not scared of anybody. He's, probably, he's shown it. He's shown it and he's done, it. He's done a phenomenal in his career. So, there. Champ, um, boxing news. Ryan Garcia is back in the news, back in a big fight uh, scheduled against Devin Haney, uh, your brother from top rank. What do you think about Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia getting together in lieu of everything that Ryan Garcia has been kind of going through with the social media stuff? Do you think that he should still fight? You know what? I, I see a lot of it and, um, you know, sometimes I think it might be for show. Um, maybe it's it, maybe it isn't. It, it, it looks like he's over there talking crazy and they want people to think he's crazy. But, you know, I have one thing in mind, that he's not crazy. He's not insane. He's smart, he's doing, he's doing you know, this is gonna bring a lot more money because of what he's doing. So, what is he getting? 200, what, 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 what is a- what No is idea it? what their purses I, are. They I haven't heard, released their purses either. I heard that, that he's in line to get like 100 or 200, but, I don't know. As that's that social media. From seeing the the kind of antics and the things that he's been saying, uh, having looked like he was in a mental institution at one point or hospitalized, um, maybe under observation. Um, from a father's standpoint, do you think that are there conversations that you're having if he was your son and saying, "Hey, what's going on?" Yeah, right away. Right away, because uh, and you know it's different when you're a father that's never put on gloves in your life. When a fighter and, and to be a father that's been in the limelight, been been an HBO fighter, been you know Olympian and so forth, three time world champion. I know what he's feeling. I know what he uh, what, what he's thinking. What is know? he feeling, champ? Well, you know. I feel that I don't know what you're talking about, Ryan, right? Yes. We have mm -hmm. Ryan, so I feel that I would have to talk to him. You know what I mean? Like, 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 you know, like as a father, like, son, are you okay? Like, and and, and he goes, Dad, I'm just doing this just so that people ever think I'm crazy. Everybody's gonna tune in. I'm like, go ahead, son. 
but but you know I'm sure they've had those conversations and be you know prior to you know that you know I'm saying that I'm saying that you know they're raping little kids and you know he hasn't seen what he they haven't seen what he's seen right. and they made him watch and it's kind of crazy stuff but it's a little it's a little past far 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 fetched for a fight right yeah it's a little it's a little, a little extreme little, it's a little extreme. A lot extreme, plenty of it being extreme, but because mental health's nothing to play with. I mean, it's not as many people go through it. And one thing that I've been talking to the fighters today and just in the, in the past couple of weeks is the amount of mental stress that boxing puts on an individual in the private moments of their life. Can you talk a bit about that? Well, only a fighter knows, you know what I mean? Like, you can't, you know, when you're when you're dropping weight, when you're in the last week of the of, of the fight, you're you're not in a good mood. You're not, you're, you're, you're very uh, moody because of the fact that you're not eating, you're not drinking water, you're, you're, you're depleted. And, you know, people, like, you know, well, I said hi to him and he didn't even say hi. People don't understand what we have to go through. People don't understand that, the, you know, this is like, you know, you're almost feeling like you want, you're gonna lose your life when, you, when you're when you dropping so much and you're like, I don't know, I can't do this. You're like having doubts in your head and then people wanna be like, hey, how you doing, hey man, everything good? And then different times where I say, no, motherfucker, it ain't good, nothing's good. And they're like, wow, what's wrong with Fernando? Why is he being that? Because you don't understand what I gotta go through. You just see me fight up there and see, you know, Fernando Vargas. You don't see what we have to go through. through they see the success camp. of fight night, but yeah. they don't see the arc that leads you Correct. up to fight night. Correct. So that's that's just what it is. And and at the end of the day, you know, we're fighters, but we're human beings too. You know, and we're savages. A lot of us, not everybody, but. You know, and anything can take us the hell out. Anything. Like kids yelling, you know, I'm like, hey, I remember when I was, you know, I was fighting and, and, and my kids were fighting, playing and I get mad. Hey, calm down. And then like, my wife goes, baby, you kind of overdid it, you know? And, like, and I'm like, I'm sorry, baby. You know what, that, I can't be here. I gotta be, I gotta go somewhere. I can't, I gotta be in Big Bear. I gotta be, I can't be, I can't, I can't stay here. So that's when I'm, you know, I was losing the weight and and I'd be snapping at my kids and, and I, I'd rather leave and then, you know, my kids see me every so periodically and that, that way um, they don't have this, this um, grudge against me for me yelling at them and, and you know, scolding them for nothing for dumb things, you know, like, stop it, yeah, you know. I, it's just I remember certain things that then I apologize to my kids for that, and, you know. But now as fighters, it goes, Dad, I know exactly what you're going through. And now I understand. And uh, I'm glad that you you, uh, you said I'm sorry to us, but you didn't need to because now I know, now we know what it is to, to be depleted and to bring down my body down to a weight that's not normal and then, I still have to spar three guys and and fresh guys and then and then not be able to eat food and and I, and I drink water so I understand it now that thank you thank you for for your sacrifice that you did for us and I go I so I love you son thank you for understanding but if you guys didn't experience it as fighters you guys wouldn't understand and now that you experience it as fighters all three of you guys you guys understand so thank you and my. And, and I'm, I'm sorry, too, because I did overdo it many times. And so as you watch your sons wa walk that proverbial tightrope you know, tight uh, to glory um, with a watchful eye, you just watch for signs? Is that kind of You just watch for signs of know when, stress when, or... When, 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 my, when my sons are silent or... Because I have an amazing relationship with my boys. I joke around with my... I, I, it's like where I'm not their father, but they, but I am. You know, I'm like, like they know that they get mess, joke around with me, hang around with me. I, I like being the best, like the best friend. But 
they know they can't cross the line with me, right? Do some, say something stupid to me, and think I'm not gonna respond or react because, well, you know, when you joke around with your friends, talk smack to your friends, and they mess around, they know that there's a certain point where there's, okay, you don't ever cross. And so, I think that's amazing because, you know, my, my boys are my best friends, all three of them, you know? I have one best friend, my best friend is Smurf. And since we're kids, 12 years old. But then my other my other three boys are my best friends too, you know, because I'm with them every day. I'm, I'm, I try to guide them the best way possible, you know, that I didn't have, but, you know, it's a blessing for me what I'm living through, through their eyes right now. Amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, outstanding father, champion, both inside and outside the ring, my man, El Feroz, Mr. Fernando Vargas Sr. Fernando, as always, man, this is Marcus Hayes with Fight Hub TV. Thank you for your time as usual, my brother. One of the best in the game, dog. Thank you, Marcus. Appreciate, appreciate it. God bless you. Always. Thank you so much for watching this video, and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Hub TV, and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV, on Twitter, and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.